Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Cancers, and happy birthday to the Cancers celebrating birthdays this month. Given it is your birthday month, there is an obvious big focus on celebrations and vacations and also reflection on how far you've come in your life journey and perhaps a feeling that you want to continue to be really intentional with the course that you chart going forward in your future. And that is absolutely in alignment with the fact that the major outer planets are retrograde now and encouraging everyone to do a sort of big audit, right? While additionally for you, there's a big new moon in your sign happening at the middle of the month on the same day that the lunar nodes of karma and destiny shift into the other cardinal signs, Aries and Libra, which is affecting major areas like your career and also your home and family life going forward until January 2025. So in addition to the fact that you've been working on some things behind the scenes that you anticipate impacting your life in major ways, right? Right? when they are revealed, maybe in the near future, I think intuitively you are feeling that there's a big energetic shift in store for you, right? The world of opportunity is just really grand for you right now and has been for a very long time. And, you know, your finances and projects continue to be blessed at this time. And I think, I think I titled your Venus in Leo reading something like adorned and adored, right? Venus is in Leo, um, until October. And we also have, you know, uh, the sun and Mercury and Mars moving through Leo this month as well. And all of that is in your second house of money, your personal values, uh, how you invest and use and put your money towards the things that you care about. Um, we also have the Andean cross here, right? Which is all about incredible cosmic portals of growth and opportunity being open, right? And it being important for you to take advantage of it. And I think, you know, because you have gained so much and grown so much and because maybe expectations may be very high, maybe just pressures that even you're putting on yourself, um, particularly because you've been trying to make sure that the work you do has meaning for others as well. I think that maybe you're worrying about how much there is to lose right now as you're approaching um, some major like opportunities um, and ventures and just directions for growth, right? And as much as you share the good and the bad and, and as much as you inspire others to overcome fear of charting a new path and taking leaps of faith to expand your consciousness. I sense a bit of apprehension, right, about maybe making risky decisions or impulsive decisions um, that you worry could stunt your growth, right? And I don't think that people really know how much strength it takes to be cardinal water, right, to, to be fearless and to responsibly, maturely, and gracefully sort of process and transform mute the things that are thrown your way, right? And to manage to keep a loving and creative heart and to channel emotions and energy the way that you do and to never look like the things that you've been through or are going through. And so for your overall energies, you know, we pull the fool and the growth card in reverse here. And while this is alluding to you sort of celebrating birthdays and special achievements, I'm getting that this is also related to you weighing, you know, some decisions with caution related to a leap of faith or a new path, uh, new projects, uh, business partnerships, or even a deepening love relationship or love offers, right? Um, and everything feels like a big combination of beautiful and exciting, but also high stakes, right? But you're taking it in stride. There's the, you know, Knight of Wands reverse here in the position for your challenge. For some of you, this is even about something related to children or pregnancy. 
Um, there's a lot of activity in Leo right now. So definitely look at the Venus and Leo reading that I did for you all. That is, uh, here's an episode on the podcast, but also um, a reading linked here on the UA Light Celestial Insight YouTube channel, right? And it's related to your money and love life, right? And so some of that is showing up here in the cards. Um, but take a look or listen to that particular reading to get more related to that. Um, related to some things here, some messages that I'm getting. I'm getting something about you all feeling maybe undesirable or insecure about body image and appearance, Um, perceptions around age, aging, your maturity, uh, or even your weight, Um, and even hair growth, um, maybe medical conditions, and uh, determining certain fixes, right, Um, related to hair growth. I'm definitely getting that. Um, from the shadow work and the knight of wands card here in reverse and with the um the ground yourself card here i'm getting something about herbalism maybe some of you all are um deciding to become a doula or an herbalist um looking into some wisdom right or even you're developing some sort of project or um have come into some wisdom that you will be sharing with others related to related to these kinds of knowledges, right? Um, that's definitely a message that I got. It's for some of you. Um, definitely leave a comment. Uh, let me know how this resonates for you. But those are some of the things, the other messages that uh, sort of came through here. But the overall sort of outcomes and even advice for you are definitely to, it says to ground yourself, right? And then we have the hermit in reverse. Um, I think there's something here about you needing to or it being safe for you to say yes to something right some new love a proposal a vow renewal or some sort of opportunity that comes your way right that um, maybe feels uh daunting maybe feels um i don't know really big right uh high stakes but that is something that could be really powerful for you in terms of like your journey of growth, right? And you learning and being able to gain a lot of wisdom that you will also be able to later impart in some way to help others, right? I think in general, that is a lot about what your journey is as a cancer, right? Um, you taking leaps of faith and, you know, being sort of fearless and wearing your heart on your sleeves in some way and being strong enough and resilient enough to always sort of transmute the experience, to take the higher wisdom out of it and to shape the experience as something that empowers you and others, right? And so, um, that is just more of what your life journey is going to continue to be. Um, and so, you know, celebrate and jump through these portals of opportunity that are presenting themselves to you and trust that help will be along the way for you with whatever it is that you decide. All right. Um, definitely because the nodes of fate and karma are going to be entering into your houses of what uh, education, promotion of your projects, growth, reach, um, and gaining wisdom. Like things are going to continue to go well. The advice here is just to remain grounded, right? Just to remain grounded and also take care of your health along the way. All right. So this card says, Ground yourself, go outdoors, take off your shoes and find somewhere where it is safe to stand barefoot. Imagine roots growing out of your feet, traveling down into the soil beneath you, anchoring you with the nurturing energy of the earth, right? In general, that has continued to be a sort of 
resounding message for you all as you continue to take on new things and reach heights that, you know, are beyond what it is that you imagined. So that is the message for you, Cancers. We're going to wrap up your reading with your angel number message here. And your angel number message is the number 633. All right, so six is about home, family, domesticity, responsibility and reliability, and service to others, and selflessness, and nurturing. It's also about grace and gratitude. Wow. Personal willpower. Yes. Independence, initiative, action, and overcoming obstacles. While the number three is about self-expression, communication, skills, and talents, optimism, and enthusiasm, friendliness, and sociability, growth, expansion, and the principles of increase. Look at that, right? And it's showing up here as the master number 33, which is absolutely about master teacher. Um, maybe you are having wise teachers and people show up in your life to guide you, um, who you can rely on for advice um, as you go forward. Okay, uh, 33 also relates to compassion, blessings, inspiration, honesty, discipline, bravery, and courage. And it's about how all things are possible. All right, 633 is an indication and sign that you are fully supported, surrounded, and loved by the angels and higher beings of the spiritual realms. It suggests that you have successfully manif manifested prosperity and abundance into your life. So be open to receiving your well-earned rewards and blessings and know that all of your needs will be met along your path. Keep your focus on practical things and release any fears of loss or lack. Trust the love and guidance from the angels. Know they are by your side. Be true to yourself and make full use of your natural skills and talents in positive and uplifting ways. Listen to your intuitive messages and take on new ventures and our projects with enthusiasm and optimism. Wow. Trust that the resources you need to achieve your goals and aspirations will become available to you when needed. Trust the abundance and benevolence of the universe. You can ask for angelic guidance, assistance, and support whenever you wish. Be open to receiving guidance and assistance through your intuition, ideas, and thoughts. All right, dear Cancers, definitely take a look at the Venus and Leo readings and your um, eclipse season, horoscopes, and tarot guidance to understand a bit more about how the lunar nodes changing into Aries and Libra will be affecting you for the remainder of the year and all through 2024. And um, additionally, the uh, Jupiter and Taurus readings as well, all right? They are all available for you as additional guidance and assistance on your journey. Definitely like this video if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Check out all of the official UA Light links down below for ways that you can also support the channel and listen anywhere that podcasts are available, all right? Thank you so much for taking the time and take good care of yourself.